I think it is a very uh, big leap forward and uh, what I have seen here, I could never imagine that uh, for the self-sufficiency of Indian armed forces, there are so many companies, there are so many entrepreneurs who are coming up and it augurs very well for the country. And I must say that all this has been possible because of our great leader Sri Narendra Modi ji. He has made a resolve that Indian armed forces, they will be self-sufficient and in case of any emergency, we don't have to look backward to any nation that we want this and that. It is a very big leap forward and what is really, what has really impressed me, that for one item, there are many, many entrepreneurs who are coming up and there is a real good competition in them and that will not only help in reducing the prices, but also the research and development. I am very glad and I think uh, this, 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 this is a very big leap, this is a very uh, big initiative which our country has taken. Oh my goodness, not only the strength of India has increased, every country of G20, they are now finding that can, can that be done by any country like this. It is a surprise to them and I think uh, the the stage which our country has got now in world and this has been boosted up no other country has got how is the security situation in Ladakh particularly in terms of excellent excellent so and our armed forces they are very very they are very very uh, their morale is very high I have been to all the poor their morale is very high they are all intent upon defending every square inch of the land of India. Nobody can dare come to India with, um, with any design to have a foothold here. And I think all this credit goes to our great leader Shri Narendra Modi. Sir, so do you think this sir, these, these, all these new technologies that will be incorporated along a line of actual, actual control? That is the aim. It is being done for that. It is being done for that. Let me tell you, when I got my commission in 1961, when I joined my battalion, in my battalion that time there was nothing indigenous. Our rifles were 303 made in Buckingham small arms. Our vehicles were Dodge, Ford and all that. Even the watch which I got, that was made in Switzerland. There was nothing which was indigenous. And today, there is nothing which is foreign. Sir, 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 recently Congress leader Rahul Gandhi, you know, visited Ladakh and he claimed that a large portion of land of Ladakh has been occupied by China. Uh, I wouldn't comment on anybody's statement, but I will say what is fact, because I have seen myself. There is not even one square inch of land which Chinese have occupied and all our troops, all our troops, whatsoever might have happened in 1962, that's immaterial after that. But today, we are in occupation of our land to the last inch. So what do you have to say to these leaders who are portraying a very gloomy picture? They are not buying the argument what has been given by the armed forces and acting as spokesperson for China. I wouldn't say anything about that, but I will make a statement of fact. And the statement of fact is that our armed forces, they are prepared for any eventuality. And God forbid, if the balloon goes up, people will get bloody nose from us.